New numbers out today show 14.7% of Americans are unemployed right now. That's the highest rate since the Great Depression. For job seekers, opportunities are few and far between, but Chris Conti has some advice as the nation tries to get back to work. It's unbelievably stressful. As a producer in Los Angeles, Greg Morrison is more familiar than most with being in between jobs. But this, this is different. I think the hardest part about being unemployed right now, there's only so much you can do, and the frustration of that drives you crazy. Both Greg and his girlfriend are among the millions out of work because of the pandemic. This 33-year-old is constantly searching for jobs that don't exist. You have to do something to keep yourself sane in these times. You have, I have to go to bed every night knowing that I tried to get a job. But experts say what Greg is doing is actually the best option because when the job market does open back up, we'll be poised for success. You want to be down in the dumps about it and you want to be stressed about it, but then everybody else is going through the same thing. I think the biggest thing is to know that everything happens for a reason. Having that mindset leads you to better opportunities. That's Peter Swan. He's a recruiter for WorkHuman. He understands losing your job can be incredibly stressful, but he also says to keep an open mind. So I think it really starts with the mindset, meaning how do we look at this situation and grasp the situation to understand that perhaps this is a way to rewrite your story moving forward. Some tips he has for job searchers. Be flexible. Maybe consider an industry you never thought of. Practice interviewing, even if it's just at home with a spouse or roommate. Think of stories. Use this downtime to come up with stories to share in an interview. Keep networking. It will be vital when companies start hiring again. As for jobs that may return first, analysts think industries with low person-to-person -person contact will be high on the list. Jobs connected to large sporting events, concerts, conferences, much lower. Just remember that you will get through this and we you know, will get through this as well. So no matter how few jobs there are being posted on anything or no matter how many people I talk to that say, sorry buddy, we're not hiring right now, it does not stop me one bit. As the country rebounds, attitude will be everything. In Boston, I'm Chris Conti reporting.